What if I were to tell you that predicting the winner of the 2023 Ballon d'Or has proven to be a difficult task? The 2022-23 campaign was quite a packed one for most footballers. In addition to the regular domestic and international tournaments, the 2022 FIFA World Cup also took place halfway through the season. This is the 67th annual ceremony of the Ballon d'Or, presented by France Football, honoring the best footballers in the world for the 2022-23 season. For the second time in the history of the award, it will be given based on the results of the season rather than the calendar year. This is the period from August 1st, 2022 to July 31st, 2023. As the year unfolds, we are treated to an ensemble of exceptional players who have inscribed their names into the archives of the sport's legacy. From goal-scoring phenoms to midfield maestros to winners of incredible milestones, the competition for the Ballon d'Or has never been more intense. This year, we have witnessed a symphony of breathtaking performances from players who have continually captivated audiences and left us in awe of their skills. In the likes of Lionel Messi, leading Argentina to World Cup glory, to Erling Haaland amassing high number of goals, thereby breaking different records in the English Premier League, to Kevin De Bruyne providing vital assists, helping City win a continental treble, Kylian Mbappe scoring three in the World Cup final earn him the golden boot, to Victor Osimhen helping Napoli become the champions of Italy for the first time in 33 years. Many will be quick to judge that the Ballon d'Or usually favors the bigger names, and the 2023 Ballon d'Or will just be handout to Messi. But let me disappoint you with this. The Ballon d'Or been an individual award, focused primarily on individual performance, the decisive and impressive character of the contenders. Moreover, since football remains a collective sport despite everything, it also focuses on collective performance and the record accumulated during the season. Let's take a dive into the mesmerizing puzzle and scrutinize the season of the five top players likely to win the 2023 Ballon d'Or Award. With stars sheening brighter than ever and legends on the Reese, predicting this year's winner has proven to be an elusive task. Join us as we unravel the complexities and uncertainties surrounding this prestigious accolade. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to know when we release new videos. Is Rodri the best holding midfielder in the world right now? The answer to this question depends on what perspective you view it. Rodri may well have earned that honor now, with the Spanish international having become a hugely consistent performer for City over the course of the season. No outfield player started more than his 52 games for City in 2022-23, and he saved the best for last, netting the winning goal in the Champions League final. With his exceptional performances for Spain and Manchester City in the 2022-23 season, Rodri has now arguably established himself as the best in the game. The 26-year-old has been immense for Pep Guardiola's side in midfield, thanks to his technical qualities and ability to break up play. He also came up clutch in the Champions League final against Inter Milan last term, scoring the winner for City in a tightly contested affair. Rodri won the Continental treble with City and also played a key role in Spain's UEFA Nations League triumph in the summer. Branded as phenomenal by Danny Murphy, the 27-year-old had the most starts, 52 starts, to his name after Lionel Messi. 57 starts 2011-2012 season under Pep Guardiola in a single season during the previous campaign, as shared by Opta Joe, proceeding to assume a key part under Enthusiasm Guardiola's direction. Past his club achievement, the midfielder's huge commitments additionally reached out to the global stage. He looks like a future Ballon d'Or contender. He has a tremendous 2022-2023 season, but City could have managed to secure their treble, even without him. This is not in any way trying to underrate his contribution. But Manchester City has a large squad depth in the 2022-2023 season. So youthful, however, currently a world star. Mbappe figured out how to win the FIFA World Cup with France in Russia back in 2018 and attempted to rehash this progress in Qatar. 
Sadly, for him, the French group wound up as the other participants confronting a loss to Argentina in the final of the World Cup. Anyone doubting that Mbappe isn't a future legend of the game has been silenced over the past few months. The 23-year-old claimed the 2022 World Cup Golden Boot after netting eight times for France, which included a hat-trick in the final, which pushed Argentina all the way to penalties. Mbappe went to Qatar in strong form for PSG, firing them to the League One title and finished the 2022-23 season as the top scorer in the league. The Paris Saint-Germain forward has finished five times in the top 10 Ballon d'Or power ranking, but never even reached the podium. However, that is unlikely to change this year. Kylian Mbappe has said he deserves to be one of the candidates to win the 2023 Ballon d'Or award. When asked about whether he should be considered for this year's Ballon d'Or, Mbappe told TF1, It's always difficult to talk about an individual trophy because you have to put yourself forward on your own, and that's something that doesn't necessarily pass in the eyes of the general public. And it isn't difficult to build a case for him to do just that. He scored over 50 goals for club and country, won yet another league title. However, coming up short in Qatar and their round of 16 exit from the Champions League is likely to cost him what feels like an inevitable first Ballon d'Or this time around. De Bruyne truly is the best playmaker of his generation, and the way he rounded into form over the course of the season was key to City hitting the heights they did over the final few months of the campaign. Once more, Kevin De Bruyne has partaken in a great season with Manchester City, where he ended up being an imperative player under Guardiola. His commitments assumed a pivotal part in the group's quest for another successive Premier League title and their victory in securing the FA Cup trophy. Kevin De Bruyne provided 31 assists and scored 10 goals to propel Manchester City to a continental treble in the 2022-23 season. The iconic Belgian midfielder would have been heartbroken to have gotten injured during the Champions League final. His 2022 FIFA World Cup outing was also rather forgettable. It was a welcome sight for legions of his fans after a disappointing 2022 FIFA World Cup performance, where he was involved in no goals for Belgium and had a 71.43% pass accuracy rating that was surprisingly low compared to his Premier League standards. Yet again, as a demonstration of his outstanding skills, he was named in the best XI of the world for 2022. Taking into account his great exhibitions all through the 2022-23 season, Kevin De Bruyne should be among the main three contender to win the Ballon d'Or in 2023. However, due to the sheer numbers he has put up and for being City's creator-in-chief during a historic season, De Bruyne remains a top contender for the 2023 Ballon d'Or. The Ballon d'Or isn't confined to club glory alone. The international arena serves as a stage for players to shine on a global scale. A pivotal factor in the decision-making process, the impact players have on their national teams can often be the tipping point in their favor. Manchester City have signed a true goal-scoring machine. Erling Haaland has been a shining star for Guardiola's team, stunning the Premier League with his extraordinary goal-scoring abilities and leads the goal-scorer's chart. His outstanding performances throughout 2022 earned him the UEFA Best Player Award and a merited spot in the Best XC of the Best FIFA Football Grants. Eminently, he set another world record for the most Premier League goals in a 38-game season, 36 goals, during the campaign. Holland did a phenomenal job for Manchester City in the 2022-23 season, scoring 52 goals and provided 9 assists in 53 appearances in all competitions for City. Given his great statistics with City, Holland is supposed to be a strong contender for the Ballon d'Or prize. The group's noteworthy high-pitched triumph in the 2022-23 season, getting the Premier League, FA Cup, and Champions League titles, further sets his certifications. He won the European Golden Shoe and also broke the record for the most goals scored in a single Premier League season. Unlike many accolades, the Ballon d'Or isn't just about goals and assists. 
It's a mosaic of achievements, impact, and influence on the beautiful game. However, his inability to produce match-winning performances in some crucial games and the fact he didn't play at the 2022 World Cup with Norway failing to qualify might just cost him in the race for the 2023 Ballon d'Or. There was a time that it seemed inevitable he would move to the top of the Ballon d'Or rankings come the end of the campaign. However, a run of just one goal in his final eight games for City means he will likely come up short in 2023, even though it was his goals that played a massive role in Pep Guardiola's side winning the treble. Could this be his eighth Ballon d'Or? Lionel Messi has done everything in his power to make a strong case to win the 2023 Ballon d'Or. He led Argentina to glory at the 2022 FIFA World Cup and won the golden ball awarded to the best player in the competition. In the process, with a sensational tournament that saw him score seven times, having lifted one of few trophies that eluded him, Messi has now arguably taken the lead in the Ballon d'Or race for 2023. He was also prolific for Paris Saint-Germain, scoring 21 goals and providing 20 assists in 41 appearances in all competitions. Messi's contributions were crucial to PSG winning the League One title. The forward is the odds-on favorite for what would surely be his eighth and final Ballon d'Or after he won the FIFA World Cup in 2022. It would surely take a ludicrous effort from one of the players above to topple Messi, the Argentina star, drove his country to contend in Qatar and unhesitatingly lifted the World Cup prize, displaying his ability and commitment. Because of his prosperity, he was legitimately named the FIFA Men's Best Player of 2022. During his experience with PSG, Messi assumed an important part in their victory as they protected the League One title. In a new meeting, Messi communicated his viewpoint on winning the Ballon d'Or, expressing that, at this phase of his life, he is more centered around his accomplishments with his club and country as opposed to being distracted with individual honors. A player's performance at the international level speaks volumes. It's about shouldering the hopes of a nation, leading by example, and inspiring teammates. This can significantly sway the Ballon d'Or race. Now everyone can agree that the main three contender to win the Ballon d'Or in 2023 are Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Haaland, and Lionel Messi. To draw you back to 2013, Ribéry was widely tipped to win the award after he led Bayern Munich to a historic treble, winning the Bundesliga, Champions League, and DFB Pokal. He provided the assist to Arjen Robben, who scored the match-winning goal in the Champions League final as well as scoring 34 goals in all competitions. The winger won the UEFA Best Player in Europe award, before scoring in the Super Cup as Bayern Munich beat Chelsea. In comparison, Ronaldo won no silverware with Real Madrid that season, although he did score a remarkable 66 goals from 56 games. However, Ribéry was a different player to Ronaldo back then, as the Portuguese international's job was to score goals. On the other hand, Ribéry was a creative player and tested the world's best fullbacks down the flanks. Whereas there was a similar case in 2010, this was when Messi's won his second Ballon d'Or award, and it's not as if he didn't deserve it. He scored 60 goals in all competitions for club and country in 2010, leading Barcelona to success in La Liga and the Spanish Super Cup. Decent. But there were two players who deserved it more. World Cup winner Andres Iniesta was many fans' favorite, but Inter playmaker Wesley Snyder was as close to a sure thing as you're ever likely to find. Now, to be more deserving of individual success than a player who scored 60 goals in all competitions would take some doing, and yet Iniesta and Snyder both had strong cases as to why they should have been the ones lifting the prize. As the countdown to the 2023 Ballon d'Or ceremony begins, the world holds its breath. The power of anticipation lies in the uncertainty, in the delightful mystery of who will stand at the pinnacle of football greatness. Predicting the winner of the 2023 Ballon d'Or has indeed proven to be a difficult task. 
With a galaxy of stars vying for the coveted prize, the journey to this climactic revelation showcases the multifaceted nature of the game we adore. With these two different scenarios, 2010-2013, one can argue that Messi winning the World Cup, or Holland scoring high number of goals, or even De Bruyne winning a treble and was vital to City campaign, doesn't guarantee any of them winning the award. In this ever-evolving tapestry of football, where every goal is a brush stroke of brilliance and every match a chapter of history, the 2023 Ballon d'Or remains a riddle waiting to be unraveled. As the football world gathers to celebrate its heroes, one truth remains. The beauty of the game lies not only in predicting its outcomes, but in cherishing the exhilarating unpredictability that defines it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos weekly.